This is an elderly lady who had uh, a sort of sepsis and they found a cystic lesion in the head of the pancreas. So I can tell you right now, I look at her, she's probably about 75 years old. I didn't even consent her for FNA because I know that there's no way I'm going to FNA a uh, cystic lesion in the head of the pancreas of a 75 year old lady until a surgeon tells me that it's going to change something. I think we do way too much FNA of cystic lesions. Um, because there's a certain risk when you do that. There's a risk of, of bleeding infection, which is the worst thing, infection. And I personally, uh, I'm really not convinced it changes a whole lot in the management of these patients. I think we get really too worried about, uh, about cystic lesions and the risk of cancer, et cetera. Uh, and so, um, particularly in the head, um, until somebody tells me this patient is really a candidate for a Whipple, I'm certainly not gonna go infecting her cyst and taking a perfectly healthy person and turning them into somebody with a pancreatic abscess. Okay, on va commencer, madame. Vous allez sentir le tube dans la bouche. Voilà. I just leave the scope in the mouth for a couple seconds so they get used to it. Then tip down, pull it into the back of the throat. Voilà. Penchez la tête vers l'avant, just put the head forward. Ah, but I just have scoop. Okay, with two fingers, just push the scope in like this. And there we go. Okay. Let's see the côté, madame, comes up. There we go. With two fingers, it's pretty hard to perf somebody, I think. So if it doesn't go in with two fingers like this, you, you, you got to be careful. Okay, so we're going to go into the stomach. First thing we do is find the liver. So we face the front of the patient, open position like this. We've got the liver with two, end, two sides of the liver and the center right here. We're going to look for the the sort of the central scarred part where we, the fibrous part where we find the portal vein, torquing right, the portal veins coming out of the liver. From this position right away, we can see the cystic lesion in the head of the pancreas right here. Okay, so with this system, you can really see the head of the pancreas all from the, from the stomach. Then we've got the, we, the portal vein splits into splenic vein here, SMV on the, on the uh, sorry, uh, SMV here, and then splenic vein going out this way. So this is the confluence, that means the genuine of the pancreas is right here. And I'm doing all this torquing with just one hand, right? So you don't need to use your, your right hand to torque. So I'm going to torque right out to the tail here, following the pancreatic duct all the way out to the tail. Okay, you want to make sure there's no synchronous lesions, which can affect management. So heading out to the tail, I'm getting a fairly good view all the way out to the tail here. And there's the kidney, there's the adrenal over here. I'm focusing, I'm trying to focus a little more on what's left of the tail. It's honestly kind of hard to follow her tail that much. But you want to basically use the duct as your landmark. If you see the duct, then you basically know you're in the pancreas. So I'm just following, keeping that duct in view. Okay, and that's it. The other way is to, once you, once you come out to the tail, there's a torque left. You'll find the aorta and the celiac here. There's the aorta, there's the celiac, there's SMA following the celiac, and we get back to the vein. So there's two ways, from the liver or from the celiac. Now I'm going to go into the, look at the head of the pancreas, so we're going to go into the bulb endoscopically. Just get into the pylorus here. So you want to look endoscopically at the apex. Put your tip up, torque left, look for the portal vein, which is right here. You want to put your tip down, put, get deep into the apex, deep into the hilum of the liver, then torque right and you'll see the bile duct coming out of the hilum. I think it's probably, where's her bile duct? Uh, it's this thing, it's in here, right, un right under here. It's kind of hard to see, right in there. I'm not getting a super view of it, but it's there. Okay, so there's her bile duct right there and her PD's next to it, right there, there's the bile duct, okay. So that's how you find the bile duct. You go into the hilum, torque right, and it comes out of the hilum. There, there it is, right, it's coming in and out, it's very, uh, very hard to keep in view there. Okay, so the last station now we're going to go underneath in front of the papilla. A little bit of blood here. Now these little old ladies, these are the ones where it may be difficult to get around D2, into, into D2, so you don't want to force it. Basically I keep the balloon up, give it some right, try and get the scope to start coming around the corner here. And if, I, if, I, if it won't go easily, I'm not going to force it again. We got a good view from the head, from the stomach, I mean, of the lesion. And as I say, she, I'm not even sure she's a surgical candidate, so I don't want to cause her any problems. She has a pretty tight duodenal angle here. So I'm not going to 
fiddle with this. I, I, I think keeping the balloon up is safer. So I actually keep the balloon up and then just kind of get, trying to get the scope to kind of go around, start going around the corner and start slipping over the balloon. And she's sort of feeling that. There we go. So it's just sliding and I'm putting the balloon up more. There we go. It's just sliding, sliding, sliding. There we go. Okay, so you never want to push your way around D2. You want to get around the corner and then let it slide under. Okay, so we're underneath now. Okay. There we go. There's the PD. PD and the bala coming out of the papilla. And then there is, where is the cystic lesion? Where'd it go? There's a lesion there. You know, this lesion is uh, quite deep. And I'm thinking it may not even be in the pancreas because we didn't see it there in the uncinet. This might be um, like a mesenteric cyst or something. Because it's, uh, I can't clearly show it in the pancreas in the uncinet. I'm going to go back in the bulb here for a sec. Why does she have this blood in the bulb here? What did I do? Okay, so I'm in the bulb. If I look at the head of the pancreas here, all this, there's no cyst here. See that? There's no cyst. So all the way in here, there's no cyst here. So I think that's actually a mesenteric cyst. It's way up there. There's her gallbladder. Yeah, the, see the cyst is way up here in the hilum of the liver. There's one node there. That is a weird place for a cyst. But I don't think this is a pancreatic cyst. I'm just going to put some Doppler on and make sure it's not vascular either. Yeah, so it's not vascular. It's not like a varices or anything like that. So I don't know what this is. It could be a biliary cyst maybe as well. But I don't think that's a pancreatic cyst. Okay, back in the stomach, there's her gallbladder, by the way, which looks good. I've taken, like, no pictures. Okay, so I'm coming back to the confluence. There's the, the lesion under here. It's really, really in the hilum of the liver, so it's very interesting. It could be coming out just off the tip of the uncinate, but the bottom line is it doesn't have any mural nodules. It doesn't have any, you know, thickened wall or anything. Uh, so at this point, I, you know, this is the kind of lesion I would, if she's a surgical candidate, I would just recommend that they, they follow her by MRI. Uh, I thought I saw some nodes. She's got some nodes in, in the AP window, and I thought I saw some more nodes up here in her neck. Uh, she might have had pneumonia or something, because these, they look very benign. Very oh. benign. I'm not going to needle those. Okay. Say, tell me, Madame Jean Villar with the stomach. So that's it. So complex cystic lesion. It doesn't have any uh, aggressive looking uh, characteristics. Elderly lady who I don't think is a surgical candidate, so I certainly don't want to needle this. And the differential for me is it could be pancreatic, it could be biliary. The important thing is this, it, it just doesn't look dangerous, so I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't worry about it. And if she's a surgical candidate, I would recommend an MRI in six months. And if it's stable, then just follow her by MRI once a year, as long as she's a surgical candidate.